Hey Google, what's this week's forecast in Amsterdam? In Amsterdam tomorrow, it'll be cloudy, with a high of 47 and a low of 44. Wednesday through Saturday, it'll be rainy most of the time, but on Friday it'll be mostly cloudy. Highs will be in the upper 40s Wednesday, then stay around 39 until Saturday. Lows will be in the low 40s Wednesday, then fall from 33 on Thursday to 27 on Saturday. So we leave for Amsterdam in literally like two days, so we're pre-packing, but by the time this video goes up, we'll have already returned, like we'll be like a day before we'll, when we landed. But anyways, we're too tired to edit Amsterdam videos the day after to have them ready to go, so we are filming a pack with us video. Yes. So. I'm a total nerd with packing. I've been following the Kanmari method of packing for years and now that it's like a Netflix thing, I feel like I can legitimately say I liked it before it was cool. Figured I'd show you what's in here, it's pretty straightforward. But here is my biggest struggle. My husband has challenged me to take only one pair of shoes. I know, ladies all over the world are legit crying right now. They're like, how? Like, he wants me to wear the pair that I'm going to wear on the airplane to be my entire wardrobe the entire time we're there. But, he was like, I don't think you can do it, so it might be some sick, twisted, reverse psychology, but I'm gonna prove him wrong, even if it's proving him right in the meantime. Da -da -da -da. So, some of this won't actually be in here on the day of, like, this is just like my puffer jacket, and it's nothing fancy, it's not like Patagonia or anything super high end. It's a London Fog. I actually got it at Sam's Club for like $35 and it was incredible. And it's so warm, just so warm. Like Corpus has been about 40 degrees lately. Well, at least a couple of weeks. And so I've kind of gotten a little bit of a flavor of what it's gonna be like in Amsterdam. But yeah, this I will probably actually wear on the plane and then roll up and use as an extra pillow in addition to my neck roll pillow. But yeah, there's that. So that one actually be in here. This little thing is a lifesaver. I learned this the hard way on my way to Israel. We stopped off in Warsaw, Poland, and I didn't really pack a change of clothes. I mean, I had one, but that was it. And I had checked another bag with all my clothes that I was gonna be wearing for a month. And I was nasty, I was sweaty, I felt like I was smelly, and no one told me I was smelly, but I think they were just being nice but I really wish I would have like actually had a couple extra outfits to change into. And since we're just taking carry on, like that's pretty simple, but I've got my outfit that I'm going to change into. We're taking a red eye from Houston to London Heathrow. And so we get into London at like six, 7 a.m. And I wanted to kind of like reset for the day, kind of get on that time clock, kind of try and get my body and mind to adjust. So I've got like my entirely new outfit, everything from unmentionables, undergarments, to accessories is literally in here. I've got leggings, a tunic, a scarf, new boot socks, like I said, unmentionables, all that stuff. And so using that with some of my toiletries, I think I can actually almost get darn near close to perfectly being dressed for the day. So when we land in Amsterdam, we can go straight to our hotel and then explore. And then my travel on crossbody bag, it's actually anti-slash resist, or it's slash resistant. And the things on here actually lock. Like when this leans over, it locks on. Okay, so here's what's so incredible is you have this little zipper, right? Whenever it's locked, ain't nothing coming apart there. It's so awesome. And it's got tons of cute little pockets. It's deep. I can fit like half my arm in here. It's a pretty solid. And then it has an RFID blocking pocket in here for your passport. So that's a must. So basically all that I'm gonna actually have on this side of my bag is my travel on, my extra change of clothes for Heathrow, the little bag of randomness, and that's honestly it. So I have got half of this side, basically a quarter of my carry-on completely wide open. Here is literally like a ton of clothes. It's honestly pretty fan fantastic how much got packed in here. But basically I've got two pairs of pajamas, I've got my hats, my scarves, a bunch of extra socks just in case, some boot socks, 
I've got two pairs of pants. You don't really need more than that for how long we're going. We're not going to be gone more than like five days. And then I've got four different shirt options with undershirts and stuff like that. But everything's just kind of folded in here perfectly. Like it's all got its own little spot. It ain't going nowhere. But so this is my bag and you get to see Colton pack. All right, so I'm not as great at the whole packing thing, nor am I as excited about it as what my wife is. So she does enjoy this kind of stuff. And lucky for me, she volunteered to help me pack. So I've got my awesome carry-on suitcase here. And I got all my stuff picked out that I wanted to wear in Amsterdam. And she was obsessed with all these packing videos. Yes, because that meant that everything got put in here like perfect and neat. So whenever I even hold it up, nothing falls out. I got all my sweaters and everything that I need because it's supposed to be pretty cold over there. I really love patterned socks that are kind of funky. And so since we're going to Amsterdam, it's like a city of bikes. I had to pack the ones that have bikes on it. So yeah, it was just fitting. But uh, I packed all the sweaters that I really wanted, my jeans, and everything that I think is real comfortable to wear when I'm traveling. Got a travel pillow. Not real keen on these things, but uh, I'm going to give it a try. Everybody keeps saying, you've got to have one, you got to have one, you got to have one. So it's in there. It's going with me. We're going to try it. Um, we've got a travel candle with a screw-on lid so that uh, we can have like a little bit of sense of home while we're away. And then we've got our trusty gimbal to go with this so that you guys get disturbance-free videos to watch while we're in Amsterdam. And I got some of my toiletries packed. And uh, one of these that I want to share with you guys real quick, if you guys have any facial hair whatsoever, I definitely recommend these. This is the Billy Jealousy line of beard wash and beard control. That's what I've got packed on, or packed in my carry-on. And so we're gonna move over here to my personal item. Got my Camelback water bottle because you need to stay hydrated on your flights. And this thing is a stainless steel bottle. What's really nice about this, what I really love, is this actually has the straw inside so you're not constantly tipping it and everything. It makes it a little bit more convenient and it keeps everything nice and ice cold. So definitely want to take that with you on the flight. Show up with it empty so you don't have to worry about that going through security and everything, but definitely fill it up before you get on your flight or when you're on there and the stewardess comes by, ask for us some extra water because you never know when they're going to come back by. and you're probably gonna get thirsty before they ever get to you. Next thing I've got packed in here is I've got an awesome set of lenses to put on our iPhones and everything so we can take some really good quality photos and stuff whenever we may not have a camera charged or something like that. Um, it also works whenever we have it on our gimbal and it offers a lot of different varieties. We've got 10 different lenses in here that's really cool. Something that you also can't leave home without is a power supply. This thing is awesome. This charges your phone about five times. Um, it's also got two USB ports on here and it's also got a flashlight. So pretty handy. I've got my change of clothes because after flying that far and everything, you want to change and get a nice fresh set of clothes on to make you really feel like you're starting off fresh whenever you get to your destination because you really don't want to show up nasty and smelly and sweaty and sticky from a flight. And so this is just a real good way to get started on your trip and start off the right way. And so I've also got my passport booklet in here. This has got my passport. It's got copies of all the information that I need to have with me. And I got that shoved in here. And then on the flight, you always got to have some sort of entertainment to keep you kind of occupied and make the flight go by a little bit faster. And so you're going to have in-flight movies. Yes, that's great and dandy and everything. You may have some music and everything, but uh, I'm actually wanting to read a little bit. I don't typically like to read much, but something that I do get into is Dr. Edwin Lewis Cole's books. Um, he's a Christian author, 
And these are all about maximizing your manhood, what it is to be a man in the Christian sense. That's what I've got packed in mind. I'm gonna be throwing some snacks and stuff in there that I'm not gonna talk about because not all of them am I really proud of, but they're really good and they're kind of comfort foods. But anyway, that's what I've got packed. And so thank you to my lovely wife for making this such an organized packing. That was our pack with us video. Colton stepped out to wash the dog to get the dog all ready to go to grandma and grandpa's along with this little guy. Are you gonna go hang out with Papa and Gigi? And, and, and Cody. And Cody, they're taking the dog too. Did you pack all your toys? Yes. All of them? Yes. All of them? Yes. Yes. And, and I need my shirts. Oh, so he needs to pack his shirts and his pants still to go stay with Papa and Gigi. Cause where are mama and daddy going? And socks oh, and, and sock. underwears. Yeah, those are important. Where are mama and daddy going? And shoes. And shoes. Hamsterdam. Can you tell tell them where we're going? Hamsterdam. Yes, Hamsterdam. Yes. It's going to be awesome, isn't it? And you're going to get to hang out with your grandparents. Yeah. He's so excited. But anyways, this is our little sign off at the end of our video. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Can you do thumbs up? A thumbs up. And if you really liked it, share it with a friend. And we always want to encourage you guys to make sure to subscribe. Point your finger. Oh, can you want to point your finger down? Go subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> but we will be back next week with our first vlog from Amsterdam.